Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel, PH Born US Naturalized. Jess and I are gonna to try to do a video for you guys today. This has been a journey and a half just to get this one video. So I hope it helps you guys, although we're not financial advisors, although we don't know anything about stocks and bonds, we do know how to manage the money that we do have so that we can have some left over, which is the secret to building wealth. When you have an income, you spend less than you make and you can use the extra money for whatever you want. We can plan to use it. But until you know what you're spending, you can't do that. So we're going to talk to you about that dreaded word, budget. Oof. Who likes the word budget? I don't like the word budget. But what is a budget, Jess? A budget is a plan on how you will spend your future income. Do you have an income, Mark? I do. I have an income. It's a fixed income from the government. It doesn't change except once a year and sometimes that not very much. But it's an income and it's set. So every month I know what's coming in. But in order to have a budget, you need to do another step so that if you do it right, you'll have money left over that you can use to spend how you want to spend it on the fun things in life. So how does that work? How does that spending work, Jess? Keep track of your expenses. Oh. So keeping track of the every penny, every dollar or every peso that you spend. There should be no peso or no dollar that is left out. Forever? You do that? We do that every month. Every month. It's 10 years. Once a month. Yes, once a month. So you can group your expenditures into categories. You can start with four categories, which is rent, uh, utilities, groceries, and transportation. Wait a minute. S that won't cover all the money you're spending every month. There should be at least a fifth category. Yes. Everything else. Everything okay. else or others. And you can break that down smaller as you go along if you want. Right. Sorry. It doesn't mean to say that you only have five. It's up to you. But to make it simpler, for this video, we will start with... Just a four. Just a four. Yeah. All right. So what you're going to do, keeping track, is to write down every single expenses that you have. At the end of the month, you're going to add everything. And once you see the sum for that month, that is exactly the money that you're going to pull out from your income in America and put it here in the Philippines. So you track everything, everything, and then at the end of the month, you get a, an amount, say, like our basic budget's 800. Right. And then you're going to take that $800 from America and put it into your bank account here to meet those expenses, expenses. on the coming month. Yes. So your past month predicts how much you're going to spend the next month. Exactly. Okay, so now I have my $800 in here. Okay, good. All right. So for the next month, you will again track every penny, every peso that you're spending. Tracking means you have to write it down in each category that you spend your money in. Now... At the end again of the month, you're going to add up everything and that's also the same amount that you're going to pull out from your income that comes well, from American one. that will go for the next month. Okay, good. Right. So, once you have all these months, you are going to get the average. Okay. So, say for example, you did it for three months. So you're going to add all three months of expenses and you have to divide it by three. So you will now get your average expenses, which will be your spending uh, budget for the next Excellent. month to come. So your spending plan for the month you're going into comes from your spending that you did the month before. In the past month. In the past month. Yeah. Right. And, and if it's all basic items, then you should have enough for the next month exactly. based on what you spent the last month exactly right and so if the thing is that that amount has to be less than your income right exactly right. and then you will know that it's recurring and recurring so, yeah because we have to eat you have to pay the rent you have to pay your yeah, utilities we're gonna eat every day guys yeah. <laughs> and we're gonna we're gonna live in the same house and we're gonna pay electric because i like the air conditioning nobody mm -hmm. likes to live in the philippines without air conditioning right. you know and we're gonna do some so then if my budget is 800 and my income is, let's say, 1200 the average for the Social Security recipient, according to the SSA, Social Security Administration, for in America is $1,700 a month. So if your basic is 800 you have a lot left over. What happens to that left over? 
That is your savings there oh, in America. Savings. You put it there. Well, I put all so my savings in America. I, I, I don't have no money so left over for now. You cannot grab it right away. I know, but what if I want to do some extra? I'm all my 800 is for my budget, and I have all my savings there. What can I do? You can always pull it out. Pull it out. Mm -hmm. Well, what I like to do is I like to have a little bit extra in, a, in a here. So we have a savings account here too, but it's not a very solid one in terms of it's easy to get to. Yes. Yeah, so if we need to get to the savings over here, we split it. Some of the savings we leave in America and, and a little more save, a little savings we put over here. So that way, if anything happens, we're not scrambling to get the money from America to here. Because you know, guys, it's not always easy to do that. Yeah, you pay yeah. the fees. You pay the fees. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then sometimes they may say, we're busy right now, we can't move your money. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and what is amazing yeah. with this, if you get used to this budget plan, you will notice that at the end of the month, you will have money left. Even though it was budget based on last month's yes. budget. Yes, yeah. yes, you, you will have money you left. You become a saver of your budget dollars. How does right. that work? It's just like going to the grocery store with a list. If you go to the grocery store with a list and you buy what's on that list, you're gonna spend a lot less than you decide, I'm gonna go to the grocery store and buy food. And you go yeah. to the grocery store, oh, this looks good, and that mm -hmm. looks good, and that. Especially if you're hungry, all of a sudden you got double the amount you would have with the list. Right, that's impulsive buying. <laughs> like. <laughs> So with a budget and a spending plan, you have a list of things that you're going to spend your money on. And you must, you know that must be met. You have to meet that. Mm -hmm. And so at the end of the month, except for one month, I think this month we're going to be over budget. But except for one month, we were always under our budget, our basic budget. You can look at the videos. They're all there. So to recap. All right. You must have a spending plan. You must have a budget designed to fit the needs of your household. In our case, your past month expenses will be your uh, will be your right, basis. Yeah, yeah. Your spending basis plan for the next month. For the next month. Yeah. So once you get into it, guys, it's very easy to do. It's very easy to track. It's very easy to keep going. And it, and what we're able to do a lot more here than we could ever do on my little social security check in America. In fact, yes. we're taking a trip. We're taking a trip next month to Davao and Jensen. Yeah. And in November? <laughs> we're going to Manila. Yes. We're going to go see if my passports had a good time. Because yeah. <laughs> they went up there without us. If we were in America, we <laughs> yeah. would just be sitting on the porch. And if we want to do something in America, we'd have to find another job. Yeah. And this is great, guys, not to have to work and have a boss. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Yes. It's good. So what we do has worked for us. After 10 years of marriage, we kind of settle into it. When Jess turns 62, she has a pension fund. Until then, we're not messing with it. So we're just two people that have found something that works for us. Mm -hmm. And it lets us to be free to enjoy as much as possible. When I go to sleep at night, I don't worry about next month. Well, Mark, you get Social Security. Now, what do you know? Now, guys, Social Security is not all that. I'm, I'm grateful for it. I'm not saying you guys got to keep working who are working so I can keep getting my Social Security. I appreciate your efforts. But I'm just saying, you all know how much it is and how much we live on. So all I'm saying is you have to plan. And when you plan, you have more freedom to do what you want to do later. Hey guys, let us know if you think we're nuts. Let us know if we think we're smart. If you have any questions or any comments, you can put it in the comments below. This thing has worked for us, and we hope, even though we're not advising you to do this, even though we're telling you you should do this, it works for us. When you have a plan, you should execute your plan. Execute me? <laughs> you mean like the salvage? Plan, the plan. <laughs> Don't forget to like, to comment, and please subscribe. Uh, thanks, guys. We appreciate all you're doing. Yes. Uh, our YouTube uh, income is up to $31. They Yay! pay us when we reach 100 so thank you guys for that. Mm -hmm. uh, we don't know what we're going to do with that. It's not in our budget. Bye for now. <laughs> Bye for now. Testing the mic again with our light faces. I'm like shining in the light. Uh, Must be an angel. Oh! <laughs> I think it's really bright. Wow. So dark. I'm going to make brightness even. There, it's three even. That's even. I could go down a little bit more. How's that? You like that? It's dark behind us. This is the camera that's dark behind. Yeah, I think that's fine. I think that's fine. Hmm. Okay. Let's see. Six over six. Yeah, I'm testing the mics. Go ahead. Testing the mic. Testing the mic. Testing the mic. This is the vol volume of my voice. Hopefully, it will catch. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to the channel. U.S. born, PH naturalized.